anytime you're dealing with that large of a, of a um, event in a human body, there's risk. And one of the problems, particular in late-term abortion, is that many of these facilities are not affiliated with a hospital. And one of the things I learned as a labor nurse is that when a catastrophe happens, you don't have a few hours to fix it, you have seconds or minutes. So when someone's getting a late-term procedure in a clinic, if something goes wrong, such as hemorrhaging, which is massive bleeding, you have a very short time to save that person's life. So it is certainly a very high risk thing, in my opinion, for something that is a temporary problem. Um, one of the excuses that's been used so often is to save the life of the mother. Now I've taken care of high risk antepartum, which is, means pregnant women. And I'm not a physician, but I can tell you that from what I've learned and what I experienced, it's, that is never an excuse to save the life of the mother um, in terms of killing a baby. That, that is, you can do a cesarean section and er, do an early delivery of a premature infant if the woman has a condition, and there is one, where she can have serious high blood pressure, possible stroke, and so forth. It's called a preeclampsia. You can do a C-section and deliver that baby, that living child, and give her the same result of improved health as you can having done an abortion and killed the baby. So there's no reason to kill it. And the vast majority of obstetricians will say that very thing. No one, no one, no one, no one grows up wanting to work in the abortion industry. We can get you out.